Focus approached us and they were like, we've got this new version of the Sam Squared bike, which is like the biggest travel e-mountain bike that they do. With the motor, you don't need to think about the uphills. They just sort of happen and actually what you can do is just go down and down and down again and again and again, get more laps in, more runs in. Everything about the bike says it's designed for downhill. So we came up with a fun idea that just showed downhill. It sort of runs as a never-ending loop and they almost magically got from the bottom to the top. First sort of impression was, that's going to be difficult. <laughs>if we were going to do a never-ending loop of trail, the best and most impressive way to do that would be to do it in one shot. We wanted to hide it in a transition, but not in a whip or a cut. How we're we going to create that was maybe a little bit trickier. We basically decided we need to build a track. It's been four days in the nine ton machine and then three days in the three ton with the tilt. Started shaping the lips up and pretty straightforward from there. It's just making sure all the speed's going to work and it's going to look good. I'm pretty happy. Excited to see what's to come. And I think Andre went and found this fence that was the same at the top and bottom. And I was worried about it to start with because it was huge open fields behind it. And we were worried about, you know, parallax and the movement and the 3D depth of it all. So one of the most important things we had to do was test this concept. There wasn't any point in building a whole trail and getting a whole crew of people together to shoot this and getting the athletes up if it wasn't going to work. So it's July in Scotland, <laughs> just outside Glasgow and we're trying to figure out how we're going to transition from the end of the trail to the top of the trail without anyone noticing. But it's quite complex. So Gav's got his tape measure out. The top and bottom had to be incredibly close. From height of the fence to what's in the background. We decided that we'd have the two riders start at the top together, come down and as they reach the bottom, one rider would leave frame. And just before the second rider comes in, there'd be like a little gap as we pan around where there's no one. And it was in there that we'd like hide a cut. We were pretty well prepared when we went into the shoot day and it was still really, really nerve wracking. We are in a beautiful field in Scotland with a typically beautiful day. We've got the sun shining. We've got Ollie Wilkins and Ben Deacons here. We could get it on somewhere, couldn't we? Like one of these bolts. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> so we're just setting up for the first take of the day. Got all our remote system here to control the gimbal and we've got the monitors so Gav can check it's all looking good. Doing all that stuff basically led up to that one day where all we had to do was shoot three good shots. No pressure, but it all had to go right. It's a lot to come together in one shot and we need to end in the right place and then we need to start in the right place for the transition so it's like, there's a lot. I think it was probably only halfway through the day when we still hadn't got one perfect take that you're like, oh, maybe this is a stupid idea. Like, this is maybe too ambitious. I don't think we got the first clean run in the bag until 4 p.m. <laughs> so that was kind of stressful. Once we got one in the bag, it was like, okay, this is possible. Like, we can actually do this. There we go. I feel really positive about this one. Can you tell? <laughs> and then the second one came really quick. After each run, they take the camera off, remove it from the quad bike, then take the footage, they download it into a special computer screen. There's a whole office down there. And they try and make sure that the end lines up with the top with opacity. And just move it, adjust it, move it, adjust it, loop it. Equals synergy. Yeah! Your shot's so sick. <laughs> We've just finished. It's all worked out like really well. I think, yeah, everyone smashed it. And now it's just into the edit where Gav's gonna work his magic and make these three individual clips turn into one seamless loop. Gav absolutely killed it. I remember going in and watching the first version. He was like, oh, it's really rough, it's really rough. I was like, 
it looks amazing to me. I can't see where you've done the cut. It's one of the happiest I've seen Gav in a project because he knew that he'd like done something that was really unique and quite new and it really challenged him. When it comes down to the transition, it's, it's pretty good. And actually, I can't think of anyone that's done it in that way. And it seems to do really well as well, so it seems to be hitting the core audience. Focus's reaction was brilliant as soon as they saw it as well, which was really nice. Once you've got the right team, you've got that pre-production done and dialed, you can do a lot and you can be really ambitious, see what's possible.